Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to Untirta TV. Today we have three really really special guests. They are Sarah Kiss and Ali from Dharma Siswa program. Hi Sarah, Ali and Kiss. We are so so happy to see you. We've been excited since like a month ago. No, I was lying, sorry. <laughs> so, um how are you feeling right now? What are you guys have been up to? So far, yeah. <laughs> like after you came here, what have you been up to? Uh, like which kind of activities? Anything, what? anything. Since we came here, we just visited Jakarta so far hmm? and surrounding London, so we didn't see so many places. We just since one month. Ah, what do you think of Banten? Yeah, it's great city, but it's too hot. <laughs> it's great. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Kiss, what do you think of Banten? Uh, as as for me, Banten is okay, you know. But uh, so far, it's okay. Yeah, so far it's okay, but uh, not many interesting places, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, because I'm always in my room, you know. That's relaxing. That's relaxing. How about Ali? Okay, um, sorry. Uh, for me, uh, Banten is, I think, it's interesting. But as of now, we have few um, uh, places uh, we see, so that's why we can judge Banten. But I think every day we uh, discover a lot about these places. And inshallah, for the rest of the month, we will visit more places and we can say how beautiful Banten is. As well as Sarah. It's beautiful, thank you. <laughs> and I've asked you about Banten, then how about Indonesia? Like the whole Indonesia. What do you think of it? Okay, so it's my first time here in Indonesia. So I've been, I've stayed in Jakarta for three days and for more than one month here in Serang, Banten. And I guess. Uh, everything is fine, the same in the Philippines, but um, I think there are so much things that we can see here in uh, Serang, here in Banten, so that's why I'm looking forward for it. And as of now, uh, we visited uh, the Pulau Tunda, mm. and we do the snorkeling, and it's good. Yeah. It was so beautiful. Why, yeah, so one aspect saying that it's really wonderful Indonesia. Oh my god, thank you! And the next question, what is the most exciting activity so far that you've done in Indonesia? Uh, for me, actually, this is my second time in Indonesia. So I visited in 2017, Yogyakarta mm -hmm. and Bali. It's so a bit different from Bali and Yogyakarta here, right? Yeah, it's a bit different. But uh, it's the same culture, like, and I decided to come back to Indonesia because I like it. Like, people here are so friendly, uh, easy to get along with them. And what was the most, like, exciting activity I had it, I think, hiking in Bromo Mountain. Oh, you've been there? Yeah. And in Ijan Mountain, the Blue Fire. Yeah. Was it really cold? Yeah. It was extremely wonderful. Super. Yeah. How about keys? Oh, that's for me. Uh, I'd say you know, Indonesia yeah, is beautiful. Though I've never tried you know, a lot of things yet because I've only stayed for a month. Uh, but I'm looking forward to try out new things, you know, uh, for the culture of Indonesia, you know, it's enriching culture. So I'm looking forward to try out uh, new things. Can you tell it specifically what? is the most exciting activity that you're looking forward to it like hiking or trying to eat maybe you know explore more food you know yeah i like the food here it's 
Enak. <laughs> Is there something you found odd in Indonesian food? Like we ate noses, cow's nose. Yeah, you've never tried it. Uh, you definitely yet. have to try it. Oh. Huh? It's called rujak cingur. Is it spicy? No, it's <laughs> not. But it's, it's delicious. Made, it's made of what? It's made of like um vegetables and like their sauce, but they add co nose of coal. Nose of coal. Okay. It's not. not it's not as terrible as you might think. No, <laughs> no, it's weird. <laughs> it's you won't see it. Like they're cut in pieces, and there's a sauce in it. It's delicious. Trust me. And is it specific to Banten or you can no, find it's, it anywhere? No, you can find it in Surabaya, in Jawa Timur, but you can find the seller here. Same. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, you have to try it. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, is there anything you found odd in Indonesia, like the cultural shock or something? There must be at least one. There is. What is it? One is food, because for me it's very different from my country. Like here, it's spicy. I mean, there is very good food. Like I like nasi goreng, but uh, most of the food are spicy. And all of the food almost with rice. <laughs> yeah, we ha we eat rice every time we eat. If we don't eat rice, it's just an, it's just a snack. It's not a meal. So I think this is like number one for me, culture shock. Number two is I think it's a bit weird, but uh, people who eat doesn't walk a lot, yeah. and I found the very hard time to cross the street because like everywhere you see cars. Bikes, like it's crazy here. It's really crazy. It's hard for us to walk. It's a lot of exercises. <laughs> How about keys? What is one thing that you found odd in here? I'd say uh, the traffic. You know, the traffic jam here, like too much, and the food is so spicy. Cause in my country, we don't really eat spicy food, so. Mm makes it difficult for me to try out some other food because they are so spicy. How about Ali? I think I have a lot, but uh, I have to mention two. The first one is the food. Most of the food is fried, like the rice. We have fried rice in the Philippines, but it's not as always as here. Like everything is uh, mixed with oil and it's kind of a bit weird. And the second one is in the Philippines. It's the same here in the in Indonesia. It's hot, but men and women in our in my country we use umbrella in order for us to be protect, protect us from the total heat. But here you cannot use your umbrella because it's weird, and uh, people m might find you weird person or alien. So that's why I don't use umbrella here, even if it is really hot. They will look at you like. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. But you can use umbrella though. Don't care about the others. But I care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How did you know about this program, like Dharma Siswa program? Okay, for me, as I told you, uh, two years before I've heard the Dharma Siswa dance. Last year, uh, no, it's not last year. It's January when it was opened. I saw it in the internet. Then I read all the details. Then I tried to apply because I'm, I'm qualified to the qualifications that they stated on that paper. Then I applied online, then uh, after the screening, the result uh, was out, then I got accepted to the scholarship, then I was so happy because this is the third time, uh, third country I'll be visiting. So now I'm here now in Indonesia. Are you happy? Of course, I yes, <laughs> <laughs> How about Kiss? How did you know this program? Um, I came to know about this program in 2017 because my brother first applied for the Nazis one and then he came here to Indonesia. Where did he come to? Yeah, he was in Jakarta. Ah, he was in here? Yeah, but he's, he's still here. He's in Surabaya. Ah. Yeah, and then. He introduced me to this program, so as soon as I finished my secondary school, I applied for Damascus. 
you were interested like directly after you knew about the program? Yeah, I was interested. What made you interested? I don't know. I guess you want to go abroad. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, go have a new experience, do something new, you know, just to get to know new things. Here you are. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> and how about Sarah? Me, like, was so simple. As I said, I came before to Indonesia and I'm excited to come back. So, like, the best way is I search on, on the internet how to continue my study here, and I found about a uh, scholarship for the Armasisma. What made you interested in visiting Indonesia for the first time? For the first time, it was like, actually I did voluntary work in Malaysia in 2016, and mm. I met some Indonesian there, friends, we, we kept in touch, and then after that they invited me to come to Indonesia. Oh, and then you're just, ah, oh, this place is great! Yeah. <laughs> Kind of. <laughs> okay, can you tell me a bit about your journey after you got accepted in Dharma Siswa program? Like after you step your shoes in here, like how are you feeling? Are you excited? Are you a bit disappointed because you're not placed in Yogyakarta or else? Actually, you know we are going to Bantam before in our country, so it was our choice to come to here oh. to Bantam. So, as for me, like I wanted to experience something new, something to, to get along with locals. And I already visited some parts of Indonesia, and this one, I chose at Banten. <laughs> <laughs> How about keys? Yeah, as soon as I started my work in Indonesia, uh, I was excited, you know. You know, I just had uh, that feeling, you know, excitement, because uh, it was my first time, you know and it was quite as I expected. Yeah, so I was just feeling out, you know. And Ali? So I guess um, when, I, when the result came out, then I said to myself, finally. Yeah, finally. finally, I'll be traveling again for the third time, but it's a long bit and I have to leave for work for 10 months, so um, when we arrived here with my best friend, now he is now in Banda Aceh, he is a Dharma Siswa a scholar as well. And uh, I said to myself, this is um, a program that will make change for my life. Uh, maybe though I'm doing good in the Philippines, but I think this is a good uh, development and professional growth for me. Yeah. Good luck, Ali. Yeah. <laughs> What, where were you staying right now? Do you live in foster parents? In, <laughs> in a dorm? Yeah. So there's no foster parents or anything? No. Uh, unfortunately. Actually, um, I was expecting also that there will be, you know, um, host family. Like when I was in Japan, we have host family, and it's a bit like you can easily learn the culture and the language when you are in the family. But uh, Rusunawa is really good. The facilities are, you know, are good. So that's why I don't know. I cannot say bad about Rusunawa because it's good. So you live in Chiwaru right now. Chiwaru. Chiwaru. Chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, the last question, and also. A pure curiosity from me and my crew. What do you think of Indonesians, like the people? Uh, as as I said before, I think Indonesians are very kind and friendly compared to other other countries. Like I traveled before, but I think here people are easy to to get along with. Like you can open with them small talks, they can help you anywhere, yeah. As for me, I think, yeah, as she said, Indonesians are friendly and easy to get along with. Uh, but I think they're shy sometimes, you know, they're kind of shy to approach you. Like every time in our campus, you know, they kind of approach us, you know, they're just looking at us. <laughs> yeah. But I think, you know, they are nice people and kind. 
How about Ali? What do you think of Indonesia? Okay, uh, so sa, um, in addition with what they said, uh, for me, I guess uh, most Indonesian people doesn't know how to be anger. Like, I didn't encounter yet for more than one month here, like, uh, meeting people because our culture is really different from yours. But that's why I'm expecting, like, people will react something unnice. But so far, I didn't even see once people like anger. And most of you, like, you talk as, the way you talk, as I interpreted it, interpreted it uh, it's like, you're very friendly and you you are easy going people and it's like you have no problem at all we actually really like to welcome you people right helena yeah you are really welcoming okay so that's it about the questions but it's not ended we are going to continue with game okay <laughs> We are gonna have a lot of fun, okay? So, um, where are the envelopes? Is there any exemption? Like, can you, can you pass? Um, you only have two chances to pick the envelope, so you can't pass. Okay. You have to answer it all, okay? Okay. So, pick it randomly. Who's the first one? Let's play the rock, paper, rock scissors. paper and scissors. So we're gonna go first. It's a first game. What do you think? Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 That's a man. That's a man of yours. Okay, pick it randomly. Totally. Okay. Read okay. it. What is it? What age do you want to live to? What age do you want to live to? I think uh, maybe 60, 60 years. Six? Yeah, 60. 60, you want to be old? Yeah, maybe. And enjoy your time without any responsibility? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and now who's gonna... Do it second. Okay. It's four. No more Okay, so my question is when the last time you climbed a tree? Actually after I graduated college I still I climbed our uh, avocado tree in the Philippines. Yeah. Because no one will uh, can climb it, so I did it. I climb and pick fruits. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. Great. Now, Sarah, you can't avoid it. One. What job would you be terrible at? Singing. Singer. <laughs> you don't like singing? No, I like, but I'm a bad singer. Oh, that's okay, me too. I totally can feel you. Okay, now back with Ali. Pick one again. Oh, I'm sorry, Keys. Five. What is the most impressive thing you know how to do? Impressive. You can rap. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, I can. That's all, or do you have anything else? Uh, I'm not really. I think like Just you can, like you can lick your elbow. What? No, I can do. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive, though. If you can do that. Yeah, but I can do. It. Okay. Okay. Next. So, this is the thing. If you won a lottery, what would you do and why? Of course, uh, it depends upon on the, you know, the price. If it is one billion dollar, I'm gonna buy house and lot, of course, because we don't have a big house. We don't have a big lot, so I need a big one. So I need house and lot. Oh, okay. I think, I thought you were gonna say that you would go to space. 
Iya. Yeah. <laughs> big house and a big lot and the remaining will be traveling again here in Indonesia. Oh, uh, okay. And the last this one. If you can have superpower for a day, what would you have? Superpower. This is a deep question. <laughs> I would say fly. You yeah. want to fly? Yeah. Maybe outer space or all around the world. But you will run out of breath. Or let me think again. I think <laughs> The superpower is staying healthy, like oh. for all life. Like, but I think it's it's only a day. A day. Flying. <laughs> Flying. Flying. Period. Yeah. Okay, that's it. You can have the envelopes, or you can give it back to me. <laughs> terima kasih, terima kasih. And we have one other game. Please give me the words. So what I have here is a few words in Bahasa and you have to guess what it means in English. Like if there is meja, then you have to guess it with table. You have been practicing a bit about Bahasa, right? Easy one. <laughs> it's a common word that is commonly used in daily lives. So anyone that can answer it can raise their hand. Okay, we're gonna start with the first word. Mm. I'm gonna choose this one. This one. There. What is it? It's pretty easy. You can find it on the toilet. Paper. What is it? Paper toilet? No, no, the other thing. You can find it like in Indonesian toilet. What is it? The one, two. No idea. No idea. Um, mostly in Indonesian toilet. It's it's a bucket. It's a bucket. Right. But we didn't find it in the toilet. Oh really? No, we didn't find it. Where do you find it? I didn't find any bucket. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, I'm sorry then. I'm sorry. We're gonna move on to the new to the next word. Bucket. Yeah, use in my room. I have. Remember the thing that I. Okay, the next word is Kaos Kaki. Sarah? Something related to feet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kaos Kaki. Kaos it's very easy. The one you wear along with shoes. Laces? No. Sucks. Yeah, you're right. One point to Sarah. Okay, the next word will be. Ah, this is pretty easy. This is the word. Okay, Sarah again. It's the red light in the traffic. Yeah, it's a traffic light. We call it lampu merah. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is this is um a bit tricky. This is the next word. What is it? It's veil. Yeah, yeah, yeah like the veil. one that yeah. me and Sarah wear, wear and also Helena. Helena. Yeah. Okay, one point to Ali. Okay, at least I got one. <laughs> the next word is pretty ridiculous. And you. Okay, this is the word. <laughs> this is the word. Hint? Um, the hint is it can be 
smelly. <laughs> you don't like durian? But no, it's not durian. What is it? Odorous. Can talk? Odorous? No, no. Something similar to it. Like, um, they can be a bit loud. But sometimes it's just like a whisper. Fart. Yeah. <laughs> It's kentut in Indonesia. Okay. Now you know it. Kentut. Okay. It's part, bro. Okay, the next word is the one that you commonly see in the street. This is the word. You know? I don't know. Bye. <laughs> okay, finally one point goes to keys. And this is the last word. This is the last word, okay? So, this is the word. Mm. They made it into chips in here. Like you can find it in the nearest mini market. What is it? It's obviously not potato. <laughs> No, no. No, no. It's like the, the basic ingredient. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's cassava. Okay, kiss is pretty good too. Yay. Okay, that's it. Sadly, the time is come to an end i definitely want to continue this until tomorrow but we can't <laughs> maybe next time <laughs> okay so how do you feel oh, i feel okay yeah, i feel like okay. you feel okay yeah i feel okay okay how about sarah fine i really enjoyed this Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. I'm really, really excited. We had a lot of fun, along with Helena too, of course. It's a pleasure. It's really, really a pleasure to meet you guys. Yeah, as, as same with us. We're a pleasure to be here and to guest here, of course. And uh, I hope we can meet in the next like occasion or something yes yeah, sampai jumpa <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you oh do you know uh, a phrase in indonesia do you want to say something uh, in bahasa yeah okay i can introduce myself in bahasa oh, okay go for it uh, nama saya kis saya dari zambia uh, saya suka maka Nasi goreng. <laughs> Tidak padas. Dan es teh manis. <laughs> And Sarah? Nama saya Sarah. Saya dari Tunisia. Saya suka persida. Oh, you like to cycling. Now it's Ali's turn. Okay. So, uh, nama saya Al. Saya dari Filipina. Uh, saya uh, belajar bahasa Indonesia untuk 10 bulan di sini on Derta. Yay! That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Sama -sama. Thank you. Terima kasih, terima kasih. Now we gotta say sampai jumpa to that camera, okay? One, two, three, sampai, sampai jumpa. jumpa. Sampai jumpa.